also I found on the internet a story about a former anti-air missile launch site here in Sofia. It took me quite a lot of time to research it, but I think I managed to locate it. I'm right here at the central cemetery of Sofia. Look at this statue. I'm about to head over that way, see if I can find it, see if I can get in. Let's explore. Dogs guarding this place, I don't think it's a good idea. At first, you don't succeed, try again. The missile base wasn't meant to be. But I found another interesting artifact the socialist times here. A swimming pool, the national swimming pool built in a brutalist style and it's meant to be deserted so I'm going to have a look. Let's see. Should be somewhere around here. Let's find a way in. Welcome to the swimming pool, here we are. So this is where the swimmers of the Bulgarian People's Republic National Swimming Team would have practiced and practiced and practiced. They're jumping over here and they're swimming over here to try and beat the capitalists at the Olympics. It does reminisce a bit of Chernobyl where they also had an abandoned pool, but this one is bigger, much bigger and the style is more interesting as well. This looks like it would have been the entrance hall in the swimming pool. The side of the building is a really cool design. Very strong, real socialist grandeur. Wow, where have I seen one of those before? It's another matrix sign. Not quite as impressive. Still a nice one to look at. It's the outside pool. Big stands to watch swimming matches. And I think someone celebrated his 30th birthday here, by the looks of it. And this really is the deep end. Let's definitely not fall into this one. So that's it, guys. If at first you don't succeed, don't give up, but plan your next move. See you guys next Sunday. Have a nice weekend and don't forget to subscribe.